Okay, on our YZ250 build, we're having our buddy Brad's gonna take this power valve apart. And this power valve for YZ250 is the same for nearly the last 20 years. Okay, this is off of a 2001, it's the same as like 99 to, to current. So you're gonna learn how to take this valve apart, clean it and put it back together. Brad's gonna show us some inside tips on how to do that right now. All right, so now we're gonna take apart the power valve, clean it up a little bit on the cylinder and put it back together. So I'm, what I do is I just take some cleaner and I clean this a little bit first before I start taking all screws so that way you get the crap out of some of these bolts. Okay, now I got it a little bit clean to be able to pull all the little bolts and doodad stuff out. Be careful on these uh, three Allens not to strip these things or you'll be fighting yourself. So use good Allen wrenches. That aren't rounded off. That aren't rounded off, yes sir. I like using this style because then you get a good grip and then you can use the ball in to get them out. When the bolts get stuck like that a little bit, you can tap your screwdriver just like I did, and it will jar the threads a little bit and loosen them so that you don't strip them out. When you start cleaning them, we use, you know, cleaner you can get. It'll just get some of the stuff off. There's two ways to do it. You can use Scotch-Brite, spray a little cleaner on the Scotch-Brite, um, work it and try to, you know, get some of this off. Um, but you don't want to sand on this. So don't use a sander to sand this. If you sand this, you're going to take material off, which is going to make blow-by just ridiculous and go right past it. And you're going to lose the whole point of the power valve in the first place. So when you do it, do it softly, you know, clean it. Don't worry about stains, all, you know, that doesn't have to be all clean. Um, you don't want to sit there and just take metal off. So just clean them up good. And yeah, that's it. I'll show them with this one a little bit. So with that one, you can see how clean that came just with using the scar pipe and that's pretty much perfect. All right, 
right, so all the important stuff here is clean. We got it all really clean. I mean, you don't have to sit there and get scrub these things and polish them unless you want to. Um, but they're all clean. I mean, this is came out really good. We got inside the cylinder clean. So we're gonna put this stuff in there. We're gonna hone the cylinder. I use a honing brush. This is just a brush to clean the nickel seal. It just cleans the dirt and grime. Doesn't take any material off, doesn't scar, doesn't scratch, just cleans. So now that we got this nice and clean, we got the honing came out really good. Just honing the cylinder. The nick seal looks really good for an older cylinder. Um, so now we're going to assemble the power valve. So we got all the power valve pieces installed. Um, as you can see, it's all working really good. Um, now we'll put the cover on and power valve's complete. On the Yamaha, on this gasket, you have a little cutout. The cutout goes to the top. Um, same on the cover, it says up. Even though it's not much different, the little st uh, power valve stop or exhaust stop is here. So you want the cutout at the top.